perfect place to hide something. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh. <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You've three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. Beth Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. I didn't. The old industrial area. Why am I here? Well, that's weird. Only way forward. Destructible objects use time vision to highlight destructible objects in the environment. Like so. Do I now shoot it? Huh. Well, that's weird. Time trigger. Some time triggers allow Jack to manipulate the timeline of specific objects. Press B to close. It's puzzle time! Now run! Okay. Doesn't last. Noted. That's what she said. When the fracture broke time, some objects became... unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines. Rewind them. There's still no word from Burke on Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing oh, Paul's face on that screen. It was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened. What he did. I needed to know why. But part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts in our PR campaign. Amy Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. What Monarch had bought Joyce? out the entire industrial Once district for their operation. Here, the whole city will be It'd back. make for an easy escape. He'll have nowhere to turn. He'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. Call ended. Ground Zero Map Extraction Area Zone Protocol Green Zone You might experience minor or none chronon radiation exposure CRE symptoms Continuous visit should not exceed 480 minutes or 8 hours Whichever one comes first This is an operational area Zone clearance level 4 required The Yellow Zone Increased density of residual chronon particles present Company approved PPE must be worn beyond this point. Report to the supervisor and leave the area immediately if you experience any type 2 diabetes, I mean CRE, symptoms. 
the red zone. Typically, in football, it's below the 20-yard line going towards the touchdown end zone area. Woo! Football. Potentially, unreversible damage from CRE unless Cronon environmental suit is worn. This is an operational area. Zone clearance level 6 required. Personnel need to complete extraction protocol training sequence before entering this area. If you experience any type 3 CRE symptoms, contact Dr. Sophia Amaral immediately. Operation PMRS 55.72400 slash BM Mon 3 6 meter primary FM simplex. That was a mouthful. Guns, guns, guns. October 9th, 2016, 7.03 a.m. From Charlie Wincott. Monarch PR Plan. 2. Ground Zero OP Dash All. Hey, Jarheads. Just got word from Martin Hatch. Apparently our almighty overlord, J.K. Paul Serene, has given the green light to our PR proposal. We're implementing a broad PR strategy to deal with the public reaction to the university operation. That means that you will all be working with me directly for the next several hours, whether you like it or not. That's directed at you, Dave. Wow, what an arrogant little punk. First up, news broadcast. So I've skimmed through the list of witnesses pulled from the university and marked the best candidate to deliver our false confession. Amy Ferrero. Perfect mix of hot and sad puppy. Media will eat her up. Green screen and recording equipment are being prepped as we speak. Time is of the essence. <laughs> I need that video shot and delivered to me within the next half hour in order to get it to the media in time. So get her ready. For her 15 minutes of fame, we're going to be pinning all of this on Jack Joyce, that wacky little domestic terrorist rascal. Somebody needs to take the fall, right? The device that Monarch stole from the university, but Charlie isn't allowed to know any further details about due to his security clearance, has been airlifted to Ground Zero operation. I'm arranging covert transport to his final destination at Monarch Tower. I'll be your eye in the sky, monitoring traffic to make sure the route is clear. Also, I want my security clearance upgraded once this shit calms down. Level 4, BS. Still searching for Joyce? Transport disappeared after entering the ground zero perimeter, digging through our hundreds of camera feeds to see if anything comes up. Even if we can't locate him ourselves, it's not like Joyce can go anywhere without somebody spotting him once Fiero does her thing. Liam Burke is leading the search party on the ground. Five dollars to anybody who can make Burke smile. That's all for now. The brains to your bronze, Charlie. They're going to snap his neck. Monarch Solutions PR Contingency Plan University Campus Operations Media Control Team Leader Charlie Wincock IT Security Specialist Amy Ferrero Confession Video Admission of Guilt Sympathetic Protest takes the blame for library incident Blame shifted to protesters Build up protest leader with criminal background Jack Joyce Keywords Terrorist activity Lost control Dangerous criminal 2. Newsly Confession to Media Push emphasis on to protest to focus questions, monarch, stop terrorist attack. Fear tactics, build witch hunt. Build witch hunt. Public focus on searching for Jack Joyce terrorists. Threat containment, team leader, Liam Burke, monarch security. Number one, find Jack Joyce. Joyce transport, last seen entering ground zero perimeter. Never arrived at rendezvous, missing. I'm surprised that this cool little fancy thing was put together that quickly, because that just happened. Insider suspected someone is helping Jack Joyce find and terminate. I hope they just mean fire. Long-term strategy, team leader, Martin Hatch, security officer. Monarch Island annual gala, send invitations to all lifeboat participants. Paul Serene speech at 8.30, reveal CFR to reassure investors. Lifeboat protocol test, December 9th, details classified. Crown on Tech, Phase 3 Rollout. Invite lifeboat participants, Dr. Sophia Amaral. Tech demonstration, new juggernaut plating. Crown on Harness, civilian prototype. Weapons demonstration, invite lifeboat participants. First weapons test on Crown saturated individual. Dr. Kim, lab, have specimen ready. He's more than just a specimen. Hey, what's Reaper Squad doing with those video cameras up in A3? Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. 
We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's gonna latch to that, and Amy's gonna tell him the protesters were behind the whole thing. You honestly think that's gonna be enough? Okay. Right inside it. It's him! Engage Joyce is here! Well, that didn't work. This elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Wilder. Beth. I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I I'm... No! Headed. Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Be rational. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. Never is. I did uh -oh, what I said, oh, no. okay? Please, please just let me go. You did good, Amy. Broadcast just went out, but Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. What was that? Just 
give up. Jack Joyce. You. From the protest. What do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Very sweet of you. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. I drop bottle. Martin Hatch prescription contains Chrono. Chrononimal. Guess I should pay attention to pronunciation. What else is in here? From Pulserine, reply, ground zero operation to Sophia Emerald. Sophia, yes, the fracture has begun, and yes, it will take its inevitable course, but you worry too much. I understand your concerns, but our preparations will be ready by the time it has run its course. Keep in mind that I've been to the end of time. I see how this plays out. We've taken every precaution necessary. Now, we just need to make sure that the pieces fall into place. We cannot cancel the gala tonight. The team needs reassurance that our plan is moving forward without further complications. Even those who aren't aware of the lifeboat protocol need a guarantee that their efforts are not in vain. They need to know that I am in control. The university was only the first step. Now the real work begins. I am almost finished up at Ground Zero. I will head to the island for my treatment very soon. I couldn't have done this without you, Sophia. Paul. I guess I should scroll down first time. Original message. Subject, fracture and your health. So that's weird. He had a different reply. That's funny. The fracture occurred at exactly 4.15 a.m., just as you predicted. However, the setters seem to be occurring at an alarming rate, much more frequently than we expected. I know better to question your knowledge on the matter, but I just want to be sure that the timeline you propose grants us enough time for what must be done. You didn't receive your treatment before you left. I can't stress how important it is that you continue consistent treatments or the efficiency will dwindle. We can't afford for your sickness to intensify. Not now. Please come to the island to receive your treatment as soon as time permits. Haha, <laughs> time. I'm worried about you, Dr. Sophia Amara, head of research. The security station is right over there. Now, can we work on your aiming a little bit? Oh, I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. It's locked. Ugh. Okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Monarch's twisting the story for the media, claiming the protest went hostile and that we detonated the library. Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That could be fixed. Oh my god! You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Well, that's something to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. Oh, you are. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. 
All right, my brother tried to explain. Time is an egg, which is now fucked. A time egg, which is, it's fucked. It's like broken. I, I don't know. What? What? Why is there an egg? Yeah. We're locked out. The egg. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should Am work. Spider-Man? Wait here. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces together, it all goes banana pancakes. So everyone I thinks like that Monarch pancakes. is run by this smarmy asshole named Martin Hatch, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Serene. Apparently, he found Monarch in the Ha! Is that another one of those rewind things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. Fourteen. So unless he's a Dookie Hauser for corporate America, that's impossible. Banana. Dookie Hauser reference. Pancakes. Made it. So now down to, get to the that monarch. door. Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for. Hey, Clarice. Is that you? This is HQ Alpha. Charlie, I told you to stay off the operations channel. Sure, Clarice, listen. Hatch told me to search for Joyce. I've got footage of Bert taking out of guard day one. Back the monarch truck was left. Finally. Good work. Good work. The guards are either sleeping on the job or, you know, I need to make this sleeping. right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to use the terminal up here and try and dig up what monarch's really up to. With a trajectory towards kicking over some expensive-ass sandcastles. Look, I'm going to keep looking for him. I'm just giving you a heads up, okay? Over an, over an hour or whatever. Tell us what is going on here. There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. They forced me to do it. I, I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have like done. A terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you figure out a route. To speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Jack, you should take a look at the map. You should be quiet so I can read this. From Jill Construe. Reply Jack Joyce to Ashton Levy, Gil Kinstru. It's all rumors and conjecture from what I hear. I wasn't at the university op, but there's no way Joyce took out all those guards. He's just some random guy. Not a trained assassin. Assassin's Creed, Eagle Vision. Oh my gosh. The stories floating around make it sound like he's shooting laser beams out of his a-hole. Anyway, they got Liam Burke hunting him down right now. So I think it's safe to say that Joyce is screwed. Off the record, I heard Paul Serene has been investigating a potential traitor within Monarch. Somebody's been accessing all kinds of confidential information. Remember that research Dr. Merrill was doing to find a permanent cure for Serene's sickness? Rumor has it, somebody sabotaged the tests. Had to start over. Just a few weeks later, the Unaop goes sour. Willing to bet the same person sabotaged us there. Keep your eyes peeled, man. Oh, man, that's one of the... Okay, fine. Alright, the first email, the Gill from Ashton. October 9th, 2016, 8.10 a.m. Reply, Jack Joyce. Gil, were you with Prowler Unit at the uni? Hearing all kinds of rumors that Jack Joyce took out seven squads on his own. They're saying he's chronon active without any kind of tech. We're getting stories about him freezing operators, disappearing into thin air. Even heard one about him being in two places at the same time. Thought it was all BS. But we just got word that his transport went missing after it entered ground zero perimeter. How the heck does that happen? We got reason to be alarmed? You forgot the do in front of that. They ain't telling us crud over here. Ground zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. Dun dun dun! I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. Oh, uh, Paul from the Beatles. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Oh, okay. thanks. Stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. 
And be careful. Yeah, you too. Careful is my middle Still name. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Hostile! Did I scream enough for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. That's better shooting ticks. Where am I supposed to go? There it is. Ow. Contact! Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother... Man, these trains people don't know how to shoot. You talk this out?
idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Hey, Jack. The husky lady on Monarch Radio seems to be unable to reach Gatehouse Squad. Remember the geared up soldiers I mentioned to do the teleporty stuff you do? Yeah. Apparently, they're intending to say hi back with a grudge. So there's that. <sighs> Regarding some kind of chronon particle harvesting operation. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm looking into it. Keep you posted. Joyce just took out Gatehouse Squad and you still don't have eyes on him? What do, what do they pay you for over there, huh? Charlie, just tell me where he is. Do I hear please? Charlie? Warehouse B4. Better hurry. Storehouse 1. You heard him? Move in. On our way. Alright, let's read this the right way. To Beth Walder from Liam Burke, October 8th, 2016, 5.10pm. Subject, Monarch Concerns. Beth, I'm starting to grow suspicious about what's going on here. I have a hunch you feel the same way. I've been allowed a lot of freedom to come and go in my position, but it comes at a cost of very low clearance. Most members of the team know something I don't, and they're not eager to share. Tomorrow's operation is more than a simple retrieval mission. There are dates and times marked with detailed events that expected to come to pass. I've seen charts with fracture, 4.15 a.m., labeled. It's way too much detail for a plan. It's like it's all been mapped out. How? Something big is coming. I can feel it. They told us our directive is to protect our world from dangers that lie ahead. If that's so, then why don't I get the feeling there's something coming that we're doing absolutely nothing to stop? And if everybody else knows about this, then why the heck is nobody acting on it? I can't sit back and watch if there's a, even a chance that this could put Emily in danger. I need to know more. Serene won't answer my messages. Hatch is closed book. I'm hoping you're an open one. Liam. So, first things first. You don't send this in an email. You talk verbally face to face. Because Charlie, nice guy Charlie, forwarded this to Martin Hatch. Mr. Hatch, I've been monitoring company email servers and found something interesting. Just thought you might want to know that your golden boy has been a bit snoopy as of late. Attaching his email below. Hey, I just turned off security. Uh oh. Jack, they're coming your way. Why won't it let me do the time thingy? Am I just supposed to jump over it?
sloppier than I wanted. I like they do that slow-mo thing when you kill the last person so you know it's done. And also he holsters his weapon. 